right guys, so you're looking to buy a lawnmower and it says online that the lawnmower you're looking at has a complete service done or was recently serviced. But what does that mean? I'm gonna show you guys what that means on this push mower so you know what it means and also so you can do all the work yourself. All right, so I just scored this machine for 40 bucks to mow my lawn temporarily until my big mower is back in commission. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove the spark plug. The reason you wanna do that first, number one is safety. If the spark plug is out of your lawnmower, there's no way that it can accidentally start and hurt yourself. Okay, the next thing to do is to inspect your spark plug. If the contacts on the end right here look like they're white and getting worn away and really affected by electrolysis, just toss it and get a new one. But it just looks like it's a little bit uh, dirty like this one. Just take a metal wire brush. You can clean it off, take some compressed air, blow it out, and you're good to go. Okay, the next step is to check your air filter. Now, many of these are the sponge type filters, like this one, and they can be cleaned with hot soapy water and then re-oiled. But if it's like this one, falling apart and pretty ratty, you just want to replace it. Get a new one, they're only a couple bucks. Okay guys, the next thing to do is to pop your blade off. The best way to do that is with an impact wrench. Go ahead and take that nut off. As you can see, the blade and your bolt comes right off your spindle, nice and easy. Okay, now that your blade is off, you want to sharpen it. Now, the best way to do it and the quickest way is with a bench grinder. If you don't have a bench grinder, a good old fashioned file will do the trick. Now, here is the cutting edge on the blade. As you can see, it tapers up. You wanna go in that direction. So if you have this thing in the vise and it's facing down, you wanna file down, but in this case, you wanna file up. And you just wanna keep on filing up in the same direction, one way, just like that, until this edge is nice and sharp. Repeat process for the other side. And you wanna do this once in the start of the season and maybe once halfway through the season and they'll stay nice and sharp. All right, before you put the blade back on, you wanna make sure it's balanced. So what I did here is I hung my blade on the nut of the output shaft of my bench grinder there to make sure it's even. If one side of the blade was heavier, it would be sagging to one side. And in that case, you just wanna grind a little bit off that edge Put it back on something like this until it's perfectly level and then you can put your blade back on because it will be balanced. If you don't, it'll cause a lot of vibration and that's a bad thing. Hey guys, the next step is you want to do a good thorough oil change. Now, it doesn't matter if the oil looked good like it does in here. See, it looks kind of clean, not too bad. You want to make sure you have the correct oil in your lawnmower. I do have a video on how to properly change your oil using a transfer pump, so go ahead and watch that. I will link it for you. But on most mowers, you should have a label here on the side, and it says right here, it takes 20 ounces of 30 weight oil. I get this stuff at Tractor Supply. I'm sure you can get it online or at most stores, SAE 30, and it says on the back that it is safe for Briggs & Stratton engines. So you wanna make sure you're using the correct engine oil. All right, dudes, lastly, you wanna put that either new or clean spark plug back on. Throw in some fresh gas if you don't already have some, and you are ready to go. So a quick recap. We made sure we had a good spark plug. We made sure we had a good air filter. We did a proper oil change, and we also sharpened and balanced our blades. Those are the four things you need to know and do to correctly service your lawnmower or tune it up. So if you see anybody with those terms selling that, that's what they're talking about. Guys, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys viewing. And as always, please stay safe out there.